I would love to sort of dig into each of those, X risk, S risk, and I risk. So can, can you like linger on I risk? What is that? So Japanese concept of Ikigai, you find something which allows you to make money, you are good at it, and the society says we need it. So like you have this awesome job, you are a podcaster, gives you a lot of meaning, you have a good life, I assume you're happy. Mm -hmm. That's what we want most people to find, to have. For many intellectuals, it is their occupation which gives them a lot of meaning. I am a researcher, philosopher, scholar. That means something to me. In a world where an artist is not feeling appreciated because his art is just not competitive with what is produced by machines, or writer, or scientist, will lose a lot of that. And at the lower level, we're talking about complete technological unemployment. We're not losing 10% of jobs, we're losing all jobs. What do people do with all that free time? What happens then? Everything society is built on is completely modified in one generation. It's not a slow process where we get to kind of figure out how to live that new lifestyle, but it's uh, pretty quick. In that world, can't humans do, do what humans currently do with chess, play each other, have tournaments, even though AI systems are far superior at this time in chess. So we just create artificial games, or for us, they're real, like the Olympics, and we do all kinds of different competitions and have fun, focus, ma maximize the fun, and, and uh, let uh, the AI focus on the productivity. It's an option. I have a paper where I try to solve the value alignment problem for multiple agents. Mm -hmm. And the solution to avoid compromise is to give everyone a personal virtual universe. You can do whatever you want in that world. You could be king, you could be slave, you decide what happens. So it's basically a glorified video game where you get to enjoy yourself and someone else takes care of your needs and the substrate Alignment is the only thing we need to solve. We don't have to get 8 billion humans to agree on anything. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so what? why is that not a likely outcome? Why can't AI systems create video games for us to lose ourselves in, each, each with an individual video game universe? Some people say that's what happened. We're in a simulation. And we're playing that video game. And now we're creating... Uh, what? Maybe we're creating artificial threats for ourselves to be scared about because fear is really exciting. It allows us to play the video game more uh, more vigorously. And some people choose to play on a more difficult level with more constraints. Some say, okay, I'm just going to enjoy the game, high privilege level. Absolutely. 